I still haven't run through all the areas yet. I don't know why I even took the time to say that and then just have a pause afterwards. I think what I'm going to try to do is kind of map out what I'm going to attempt here. I guess what I was planning on doing was going through Blackwood Burrows today. Uh, and uh, well, I guess everything here is Blackwood Burrows. It's like Hollow Grove and Blackwood Burrows, but Hollow Grove is what I'm going to save for last, really. Um, what it comes down to is that there are places like Sorrow Pass that have nothing else in them, but I'm still at a lower percentage. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is just like walking through those off screen. But that's going to take a lot of time. And that's content. No, but it's it's going to be wacky. I, I don't really want to deal with it yet, but I guess I will. So for now, um, I'll just teleport into Blackroot Burrows, I suppose. The only thing about it is that um, it's going to be a long. It's going to be long. <laughs> I might even just go into the bottom one first, so that'll probably be the play. Figure out the nearest teleporter. Alright. Apparently, I can use this attack as many times as I want. Very nice. Must say, I do like the fact that I can dash in the air multiple times because it's technically an attack. Which way am I going here? Oh, I've already overshot it entirely. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Super Dash. Honestly. Oh, that oh, that makes more sense. It takes it takes soul to use. Or spirit energy or whatever. That is not something that I was privy of, but whatever I guess. I can always like I guess saving the game, I don't know if that actually um okay. hold on. Hmm. I don't know if saving the game actually gives you your energy back. I know it gives health back, but, you know, this takes a long process. Are we warping? Okay, yes we are. That's good. I thought we were just gonna not, you know? Oof. I don't think doing a jump does. No, it doesn't. That's good, because that would suck a lot. If that were the case. Let's just dash really quick now. See, if I don't give the game time to load, then I win. Look at this little yin Anyways. It's in the water, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, yay, this portion of the game. Hey, look! I mean, you like that. Just because I'm an idiot and I don't know that I'm going to freaking die instantly if I don't. I want to say this is something that I just straight up wasn't able to do beforehand, but I think it's actually the laser part. No, yeah, this was, um... Oh, boy. I don't even have any Chrome browsers open. Come on, game. This was the... the... bounce off of... What was it? Is there something over here? Oh, you know what? It, either it is through the water, it probably is through the water. I want to say definitely. Now that I've thought about it. It would honestly at this point be quicker to just die. But I'm not gonna. Because I'm a gamer like that. Bec the whole thing about it is that there's, there's crap down here. And it's probably a water reading kind of thing. Like maybe there's a path over here. Yep. That'll do it. If only I could dash underwater, huh? I'll stick to just not. It's all fine and good. Well, I guess even without water breathing, huh? Whatever. Water breathing techniques, book one, whatever. <laughs> I really. I need to watch Demon Train. Uh, I don't even know what that means. You know. Well, I mean, I'm, I don't live in Japan, so. I guess 
I don't I don't know what the thing with Japanese movies is. Also I don't really have like any kind of network networking I suppose to figure out when like an anime movie would come out. I do have three of these. So here's the thing. Everything here is really good. I'm just gonna take sense for now. Um it doesn't actually show anything on the map, but pretty dang good stuff. I, I don't know how people find out when something pops up on, like, the Japanese box office or something. And I guess I don't really need to know, because, again, there's not... Oh, there are really legitimate ways of me figuring out how to watch that. But this is going to see me die. I'm going to die doing this. Yeah, I should have turned around. Whatever. That's a big my bad. Good thing I saved the game, huh? Anyways. <laughs> I don't know. I, I wanna watch it. Because Demon Slayer is pretty dang good. And it's it's one of the few series that I haven't taken to just what reading the manga. Like there's a lot of shows that I just don't feel any reason to watch. But I guess like the main thing is like Jujutsu Kaisen. Because, I mean, I never wanted to, like, actually watch, like, Black Clover, but I really like the manga. But with Jujutsu Kaisen, I've, I'm, like, up to date on the manga, and now it's coming out as an, an anime. And I, I don't feel any real reason to watch the anime. It sucks, because I know that it'd be freaking great. Uh, I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Power jump, thank you. Or it had better be, if it's going to live up to the manga. But it's just one of those things that I don't feel any real need to do it, you know. I've already done this story. But of course, I'm the same guy that, um, I don't even remember which mo which show it was. I wish I did, honestly, because I, I wanted to watch it again. But I, uh, at one point, I want to say it was probably Junior High. And it probably wasn't, wasn't even, like, an actually good show. There was this uh, anime I, I stayed up all night and watched all 12 episodes at once. And then, like, a week later, I did it again. <laughs> so, I'm not exactly new to re watching anything for whatever reason. I want to say that was an interesting case, though. I'm a sucker for romance stories. And I can watch things like that over and over again. But, I mean, Jujutsu Kaisen is a do romance. And there's actual, like, plot points. I guess romances have plot points. But it's not so much a. You get the feeling I wasn't supposed to do that yet. I get the feeling I was supposed to do that like this. Or not. Oh, hey, that opens up. That's poggers. I'm gonna hit it again, just cause I hit things like my wife. Lol, I'm unmarried. My girlfriend can attest to the fact that I do it though. Anyways. I don't. Haha, uh -huh, fun PSA, I don't actually hit my girlfriend. That would be kind of creepy shitty, you know? Remember not to be a domestic abuser. Uh. Oh, there's a. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I am a gamer. That is my full gamer skills coming out right there. In. Excellent, like, 4K Ultra, H Ultra Instinct HD, you know. My, my ultimate gamer sense coming out. I did not use my ultra machine to use this word. Ah, <laughs> I haven't saved the game in a while. Big laser makes me remember. <laughs> Jesus. I was very close to being dead there. Okay. Looking like we're getting something like 2% every time we, we get something here. Okay, no. It's all fine and good though. 
die. Well, here we go. Air or not. Now we go. That is really something that I do not want to. Oh, hey, it's going to be one of these. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I really like these. I keep forgetting that I have triple jump. I really like that I have triple jump, though. Whatever. Anyways, we're going. We're going. Blackheart Burrows is still only at 99? You're kidding me, right? What have I missed here? I don't know what all counts as black and burrows, so let's zoom in a bit. Well, that's sunken blades. Uh, I don't know where it passes over really on what is considered what. It's gonna be another one of those areas that I just have to walk through. And then it's gonna be something like, oh, you didn't go in this lake down here. Some crap. Whatever. Ori's kind of wacky because I don't know if, if map completion is part of it. I thought it was in uh, Breath of the Wild. That's one of the wackier things about Breath of the Wild actually is that like um, you can you can settle for not getting all the Koroks, which I'm glad for because there's like, um, but you better go to every every map area, you know, and that makes sense because that's something on the map, and I guess it's more of a map completion kind of thing. Because it's map completion and we completed the map. But um, I want to see Koroks show up on the map too, if you got them, maybe. That I'm thinking of like a. I'm trying to think of what I was thinking of. And I can't open this from this side. Kind of sucks, just a little bit. Whatever, I can kind of open it from this side. We'll see. I think I didn't even get to attack, because I'm such a gamer. Alright, we're opening it from this side. Because I don't want to have to deal with finding another... You know? Crap. Poopy. Oh, darn. Oh, jeez. Okay, hold on. Actually, though. <laughs> uh... I do not want to have to deal with finding another teleporter or just in general dealing with. Oh, wonderful. Why am I so dumb? Oh, and now I have to do that again? Why am I so dumb? And just like not save the game ever. Bro, Ori in the Blind Forest challenge, never save the game challenge. I'm absolutely sure somebody's done that. Just, you just don't die. Easy. Anyways. I could super dash through these. I'm st uh, I am take energy though. And, you know, I never use that for anything. Honestly, I don't. So, here's the idea, right? There's some... Nice little alcove up here. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. These don't go up on the map. That's 100% Black Root Burrows. Alright, well, I'm gonna go over to this teleporter now, then. That helps. That actually really does help me out there. I can make my way out of Black Root Burrows, which isn't actually going to be an issue. It's kind of straightforward, especially when I can do things like uh, jump really high and jump three times. So yeah, this isn't exactly going to be a problem for me getting the heck out of here, you know? But from here... Hell, I was just gonna go through... Okay, never mind. Sunken Blades is one of those. Uh... Hollow Grove, okay, Hollow Grove is going to be its own episode. I really wanted to wrap up all of the finding of things as a three-parter, because these aren't even really episodes, but you know what, um, 
We're going to consider the clearing of Hollow Grove uh, to be its own episode, as an actual episode of the series. Other than that, we're going to get the stuff from Sunken Blades and then move on. Because I really... I don't want... Is it the Hollow Grove one? I want to say yes. Yes. I don't want this to be like a freaking five part series where I'm just digressing from the main story. I do want to get all of the things, but I think I can afford to have a just trekking to Mount Horu kind of episode. And hey, I can make a funny thumbnail about the Lord of the Rings or something. See, look at how useful sense is. I have a lot of common sense. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, we're saving the game because I'm an idiot. We're gaming though. I need to speak actually. Keep forgetting about the whole commentary portion of the video that I actually have to say interesting things. And I also completely forgot that I was going to go in more in depth about what I was saying in my Celeste video yesterday. But I think in hindsight, not in hindsight, I'm not going to try and say anything about what I've already said because it's not like I don't stand by my own words. These are the things that I've thought about for a while. You know what, now that I'm already talking about it, I might as well go further in depth. I just feel like I don't have the kind of time to really not expand on it, I just didn't I didn't make a, a good job of actually properly explaining what I was talking about, I want to say. Uh, hell, I could just make a shorter version of what I was talking about. You don't have to watch my Celeste video to really get it. Oh, I guess that was the... Yeah, I'm, I was talking about how, like, uh, people kind of tiptoe around mental illness or the concept of mental illness. And I don't mean that in the sense of, um, no, well, we need to talk more about mental illness because, I mean, that's, that's a, it's a push that people have been making for a while. I don't have a problem with these people, but it's just, like, um, I don't know, the general idea that it comes down to sometimes where, uh, I feel like some people use it as a crutch either for themselves or others where they'll make a mistake and it'll be like, well, it's it's all fine and good because they're mentally ill or something along those lines. And I guess what I get down to is, um, it's kind of a selfish thing for me to say really because it comes down to, well, I've never been able to do that. I've never been allowed to do that personally. Where's the line really where you become? conscious of your decisions and you're not just somebody that's doing something bad, you know? Because it, for me, um, I was talking yesterday about how I'm like socially, like, terribly, terrible socially. I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to other people. And I mean, it's not, an ex it, it's never been an excuse really. Never, people have never taken that as something that's okay for me to do like stupid crap socially you know so but I don't know it feels like sometimes people make that excuse for other people in similar scenarios and it's just like well you know you're depressed or something along those lines I'm just like I straight up don't understand what makes people go um and I'm terrible at picking up on hints and things like that, and this has never been a veritable excuse for me to use. Like, no, that some of the stupid crap I've done has never been okay. It's, it's never been, like, vouched for in any way. And I'm not going to say that I haven't done stupid crap. Of course I have. But it's just along the lines of, like, I'm not going to say that I'm like 8 million percent mentally ill to a point of... what is that supposed to be? It's like there, there are things that people struggle with. I'm just, I've just never gotten to a point where it becomes okay because you have struggles, you know? 
And I'm not tr I'm not saying that in any to like in any way discredit people that like really really struggle hard with things, but it's it's just that I've gotten to like it's never been okay for me to do certain things, and yet uh, similar things are made okay by other people having something that they're battling with, and I've just kind of never understood that argument. Uh, and I, I guess you could say that it's just like me trying to... Is that background? No. You say that's me trying to abuse some like good hospitality or something like that. And maybe. But at the same time, that... Um, that'd be throwing people with mental illness under the bus doing the same thing because I'm just I'm worried about the cutoff point at what point does it become you're completely cognizant of your actions you know at what point is it not okay anymore and I I, I feel like I haven't really gotten an answer and it really just depends on which person is defending who in my experience I just think that's kind of wacky you know you gotta have some line somewhere right that's what I think, but you don't really get that line. So whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna walk over to this lake, and if I think of anything by then, I guess I'll expand upon what I've said thus far. I guess I haven't really had too many negative experiences regarding people that are mental. And I don't mean to be terribly disrespectful to people that are mentally ill, to the mentally ill at large, you know. But it's just that, like, like it, it's it's a weird kind of, I guess not really like hot and cold, but it's a weird thing that happens where, you know, we can't treat the mentally ill as if they're mentally ill. But also, keep in mind that they're mentally ill, you know? It's, it's kind of wacky. And I get it, to, to an extent. I get it up to an extent that there are things that people deal with and they don't want to be, like, constantly reminded of them. But if you then use those things as some kind of defense to your person, well, you seem to be dealing with them pretty well, you know? I don't, I don't know. Like, kind of have your cake and eat it too, kind of people, you know. And it's it's just up just upsetting to me as someone who I'm not gonna say that, struggles with their own mental illness or anything like that because I don't consider myself too terribly mentally ill. But it's it's like as somebody who has dealt with these kinds of people, I suppose. It's uh, never been okay for me, and I don't understand why it would be okay for anyone else. With like, within some regard of like, you're conscious of your decisions. Like I understand, like people with learning disabilities being a bit slower on the uptake. Like that's the whole point. But, I mean, if you have depression, that doesn't mean you can, like, scream at me in public, you know? Because at that point, I don't know what is up with you mentally, but you're, at that point, directly screwing up with what's up with me mentally. And, and then it's just, a, a, you know, a good old battle of who's more mentally ill and who gets the points there or something. And I've never taken part in that, but it's just kind of wacky, you know? Anyways, I shouldn't really go on too longer, too much longer. I guess, uh, no, I'm not going to open up this path yet. On the next episode, we're opening up this path, and I'm probably not going to talk any more about how I feel about the mentally ill, or the pseudo-ill, you know? I think everybody's got some kind of fricked up in their mind, to some degree, and 
I mean, it uh, to that end, where's the line, I guess, is what I'm talking about. Because you get that kind of gray area of people that want to have it both ways, and I don't think that that's okay, because you're abusing people that are actually, like, unable to function at that end, at that point. I don't think that it's really a cognizant thing. I, I would hope that they're not conscious of that. Because, again, people struggle with things, and I understand the whole, you don't know what I'm struggling with kind of thing. But everybody has that kind of thing. And if, I don't know, if we're going to talk about who's more valid, well, you can't really have that discussion, because, I mean, a lot of mental illnesses end in this kind of thing is extremely valid to me, personally, due to the mental illness. Like, that's how eating disorders are. You, like, people with anorexia aren't overweight, but they believe that they are. It's a mental disorder. But you don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna, whatever. It's just, like, this crap comes up way too often, I'm gonna say. But it, it's not really too much of an issue, it's just one of those kind of cultural roadblocks. Not really a roadblock, just like a speed bump, so much. Whatever. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe, please. Or I'll, I don't know, throw you in front of a laser or something. I'm running out of ways to kill people. Kind of sucks. <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.